So it's not that I'm not excited about this new FDA approved at home alternative to the pap smear. I think it's a great way to get HPV screening for the patients who aren't going to get that because of their fear of a pap smear. My problem here is two things, the marketing and the access to care. So this is the teal test, which was FDA approved last week. The way this works is that you make an appointment with a telehealth company. They will then ship this to you. You self collect at home and then you send it back. The benefits here are that we're doing something that's already wildly accessible in the rest of the world. Lots of other countries are doing at-home HPV testing. And this is a great option because many people dislike coming to the gynecologist and having an exam done and actually put off care because of that. So doing it at home is a great option. My problem is with the way that they're marketing this now privileged form of getting HPV testing. They really are vilifying the traditional pap smear to be able to sell their telehealth services. As you can see here, traditionally, gynecologists have inserted a cold metal speculum deep into a woman's body to scrape cells from the cervix versus the teal wand, which is built with empathy. My problem here is that not everyone's going to be able to afford this telehealth option and paying for it. Not everyone's insurance is going to pay for it. I'm interested to see, especially if the patients who have Medicaid and Medicare will have this be covered, or is this only covered by certain private insurances? I really feel strongly that we shouldn't build one option up by tearing down the other option. I think it's great that we have this new at-home HPV testing. I think so many patients are going to benefit from having this option, but I think we should not vilify the traditional pap smear to sell what is a more privileged form of testing.